go. We got three EC parents here. How are you ladies doing tonight? Doing great. Awesome. Got uh, cheer practice going on, so yes. can't be nothing better, huh? That's right. No, nothing, no, no place. To, no <laughs> place. <laughs> yeah, no place to rather be, right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay. Who, <laughs> who do we got on the floor here uh, for you? Um, my daughter's kind like it. She is on youth level two, the Hurricanes. This is her third year competing. Oh, nice. I have Riley Wheelock, who is on junior level three, and she's nine. And then I have a six-year-old that is in all-star prep. Oh, okay, great. And my daughter Katie is also nine, and this is her sixth year cheering, and she's also on the junior three team. Awesome, good deal. Well, um, I tell you what, you know the, the competition. We're here to practice, and obviously, every practice leads up to the big competitions. Now, competitions. As a parent, I know this probably a lot of mixed emotion, and I know that you guys just speaking to you earlier. It's a pretty nice, tight knit group of parents here. Yes, we are um, absolutely. But there's got to be some. Some crazy feelings before, some, some great feelings afterwards. Can, can you go ahead and start us out of here? Um, it is. It is absolutely something that's stressful when you're going into the competitions. And kind of as we were talking, I have a husband who's a high school football coach, and I very much liken it to playoff games. I mean, <laughs> that first you know, minute or two leading into a two and a half minute competition. All of our nerves are working, we're stressed out, but the nice part is, is as close as the girls are on the floor, the parents are either in the practice room or in the stands. You will find moms clumped together, hands <laughs> holding hands. We do a lot of prayer um, at, during the two and a half minutes. Um, we all have chains of text where we're sending out prayers the mornings of, um, and then we're also, you know, on the unfortunate times where there is a fall or somebody hurt is hurt, we cling to our other moms to help us know it's all going to be okay and your daughter's fine. Or if we have lots of working moms, you know, I don't have to worry about my daughter being at practice and getting hurt because I know if somebody's here, they've got her and she's got lots of other moms to look to. So, yeah. Now, how about after routine hits? How about after that? After routine hits, there is nothing more glorious. You know, our daughters were on the same stud team this last year and had a rough time through a lot of practices and even the first couple competitions hitting a few of their stunts and about midway through the season they hit their groove and we would stand there and just cling on to each other praying and to see those girls hit and to see the look of satisfaction and just the achievement that they felt like that's a, I think a real life lesson that you learn from cheer is just working really hard and working to accomplish something that you didn't think you could do and being able to really do that it just teaches these girls in a teeny little microcosm of their lives that like things you can do things that you didn't think you could do if you just keep working so it's it's great for them that's awesome now how about ec as a gym and the community here ec is great um and the reason i chose ec my husband's an assistant principal in plano and several of his girls were competitive cheerleaders at ec mm -hmm. they were also cheerleaders at the middle school and high school where he was working and they suggested we bring our daughter here we were looking for a tumbling class i have a girly girl who's athletic <laughs> But soccer and basketball, it just was not going to work. And, but the main thing for me was to make sure that she was in a team environment where she felt responsibility and obligation to someone else and to a larger, yeah. a larger surrounding and just globally. I always use the corporate word. I wanted her to be more global in her obligation to things. And EC brought that the first day we were here. They had no idea who I was. Oh, come in. They took me. I mean, it was some random parent. Took me around the gym, introduced me to everyone. They introduced my daughter to their daughter and said, come on, I'll take you in the gym. And as soon as I walked in, I exhaled. And I said, okay, this is great. I don't mind spending the money. And as she developed over those first six months of the first year competing, she thrived. I saw her self-esteem evolve. I saw her teamwork. I saw the leadership that I knew she had in her country. She's the consummate, you can do it, pushing everybody, and that's what I wanted her to have, even at nine. I mean, I don't need you to have aspirations to be president of the United States, but I do need you to have some sort of esteem about yourself and be able to carry yourself in a group setting and, right. and, be, and lean on somebody and have them lean on you too. Yeah. So, And we've had that's conversations great. about that in the community. I mean, obviously, we do have friends outside of the gym. Um, I know. Um, we're really ever outside of the gym. <laughs> But you can almost see it. I mean, you could get a group of kids together and you can pick out the ones that are on cheer team because they do have 
have that self-confidence. They do have that sense of teamwork. They do have that sense of responsibility that I have to help a friend out that may not be at my level, but I'm going to make sure she gets to my level. I mean, it is very much akin to the no man left behind, right? right. If there is a girl that falls, you will see it not only on the team, but you will see, see it the in whole, the whole, all the teams come and surround themselves around her to lift her up. It's okay. It's That's happened right. to me. We've all done it. Just get back up there. And, I mean, just supportive. That's right. right. Yeah. And we do it even at competitions. It is, you know, I have or soon will have daughters on two different teams, mm -hmm. but my, I don't have a daughter on every team. And But yet, you will see people come and stay the entire day at a competition because I want to be there for her daughter. Yeah. You know, and we are all standing And we there. get there early to That's see right. the little ones yeah. because they're there That's so early. That's what you do. Yeah. That's right. It's just what yeah. you do. It's it is. You do. That's it awesome. Is. Well, ladies, we appreciate your time. I mean, that's, yeah, it's great, great talking to you. Thank you. Thank you.